What's up everybody? Time for a homebrew review. Not that I haven't done enough of those recently, but I'm on a roll so I'm going to get cracking and do some more. Apologies if this is a bit shaky. Um, in more ways than one. Um, so, yeah, I've been very lucky to be sent one from Mr. Crew Wolf, uh, Mark Warburton. Um, the Mojito Vison, um, which sounds phenomenal. Um, now, I can tell you about this beer. I've, I've seen some reviews of it, but I didn't really want to watch them too much. I kind of tried to make my own mind up, but I just caught a little bit about it, just to, <clears throat> just to see what other people thought, but I didn't really want to go into it too, into too much detail to cloud my judgement. Um, but everyone said it's great, so this is brilliant. Um, <clears throat> so this one is 50% wheat malt, 24 Four point six. Let's just say twenty-five percent uh, Marasota, twenty-five percent Pale Ale malt, um, and then I think that was all in the um, grain bill. And then it's uh, thirty grams of Motueka um, boil, twenty minutes, and then Whirlpool uh, for twenty minutes, um, thirty grams again. So that's just over an ounce of each, and then. Um, it says, yeah, a package of Bavarian Wheat Yeast Mangrove Jacks M20, which I've heard some good things about. And then it's a uh, dry hop, uh, 30 grams, so relatively conservative of Motueka, but also 30 grams of lemon zest, secondary three days. So, you know, mojito, you think about mojito, it's more uh, lime and mint. Uh, but this one is lemon just call it a lemon wheat let's just go with a lemon wheat beer because this is going to be as it says a fantastically refreshing wheat beer made with real lemon zest this is going to be cracking so uh, I don't know if this one it doesn't matter I don't know if this one's from the keg if it's not it doesn't matter because you want to get the yeast in there so anyway I've rambled on for like over two minutes now so let's let's get get on with it again love absolutely love these plastic crane cap uh, bottles so already looking absolutely beautiful relatively clear in terms of the base beer even though obviously we know there's a lot of wheat in it but that seemed to change obviously being the twat that I am Forgot that this is a 500 mil bottle, and I've got a 330 mil glass. So apologies for that, but um, yeah, again, relatively small head on that one, which you wouldn't really expect from a wheat wheat beer. But these glasses have been in the um, dishwasher, so if you if you've used the dishwasher. Often you just get zilch head retention on your beers, but um, other than that, it looks absolutely beautiful. It's lightly carbonated, but it is. You can see that you can see sort of bubbles consistently coming up in a, in a small stream through the middle. So you know that there's carbonation in this one, but it's a lovely light sort of straw color. I think you would say. Um, a bit like a Berliner Weiss, like I suppose it would be what you expect with a, a wheat malt and a, just a you know a, a pale base malt. You wouldn't expect it to be any any different to that. But anyway, that's the that's the look of it. Mm, getting the yeast, I definitely got some of the yeast there, the Bavarian wheat yeast. I'm I'm probably going to add some more in a minute when I've when I've had another sip um, down to about here, so I can get some more yeast character in there. There is maybe a little bit of a citrus note to it, but it might may have dropped in the sediment, so I'm gonna um, give you another verdict in a minute. But in terms of what I'm getting, yeah, it smells nice, it smells inviting, so temperatures dropped a little bit today, but it's been pretty warm recently, so this would have been perfect out in the sun, but I wanted to do a review without wife and child around, so now's the time to do it. So, cheers, Mark.
zesty, refreshing, absolutely gorgeous. You're getting the yeast esters come through, you're getting a... You don't get the banana clove thing that you get from yeast. It's, I suppose it's a slight phenolic ester that you get from some of the Belgian yeasts rather than from some of the Bavarian stuff, but that's interesting. So maybe I'm not, I'm gonna add some more and see what happens. Come on, yeasties. Still plenty to come, so that's good. Um, yeah, some nice, nice phenols coming from it. You know, again, I'm not, I'm not really one of these people that is big on, you know, knowing everything about beer. I just know what I've tried, and you know, I just kind of give my opinion based around what I've had. And there's so many different beers and different beer styles I haven't, I haven't tried yet. And you know, I'm well, I'm way early in the journey. But yeah, from what I can smell, that's yeah, it's definitely a, a Bavarian yeast, but it's it's not heavy on the banana and clove like some beers. Anyway, zesty, refreshing. The lemon really comes through nicely. It's not bitter. It's not pithy. It's just. I wish I'd had this on during the day because I would have just yammed that in one. Like seriously, you can you could drink a lot of these. Uh, what's the percentage? Four point eight percent. Yeah, yeah, you could have a few of those, and then uh, yeah, you you'd end up in trouble just because the drinkability of it is just immense. So thank you very much, Mark. It's really much appreciated. Um, I'm gonna sit and enjoy this one. I'm gonna catch up on some bits and bobs, and I've, I'm, I think I'm gonna go straight into the 801 stout afterwards uh, because I've been waiting on that one for a while, and I've seen people reviewing it, and it just looks so good. And it, it's a concept beer that I've been trying to to work towards, and just find the time to brew a, a you know a sweet stout. And it looks like you've absolutely nailed exactly what I would be aiming for. So there's no point in me trying to do my own recipe if it if it's as good as everyone says it is. Um, so I, I can't actually reveal the recipe on the on the review video, but I will be in contact about that one anyway. Anyway, this is that, that's not about this beer. This beer was absolutely brilliant. Um, uh, mojito bison, maybe not lemon wheat, just call it a lemon wheat, and it was, oh, mate, it's absolutely amazing. So, thank you very much for that, and another homebrew review to come pretty soon, actually, because uh, this ain't gonna last long. Cheers, guys.